Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn about SHFL shift bit left command in FATEC PLC. But before start this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This way you will be never miss my upcoming videos. So let's get started. First of all, I will open my WinPro letter software and then we will create a new project. Already in previous lectures I explained about how we can create but I will do, give it little demo. You have to choose your own brand which is the FBS series and how much points this is 20, 10 or 14 how much and this is model which you have MA or MC which model and click it OK and this interface will be open and let's start I choose my first input to execute the program for example x0 or any any bit you can choose but we will start from this uh, with the timer why this timer I using this later I will explain you t0 and choose one timer here t0 this is 0 0.01 second timer and I choose the time for 100 seconds and this contact I will choose for close contact not open contact because of we need the signal to continue on this timer so in second row we will take that open contact of the T0 T0 and we will choose the command SHFL command in the function func function block here you can simply choose or you can find it here in the function menu this is here high speed or simply you can write it here also SHFL if you like you can data shift left this command you can find but is it, it is also here can find this shift and rotate section this is shift and rotate section you can find this command SHFL to and click it ok and in this command if you little hold it on at this you can find downside the which registers and which uh, timers counters which which things you can use this will be right so I will choose WM WM0 and I will choose one bit and click it OK and one line also we can give it here to just for resetting this command and in third row we will take one single pulse generator and that address I will give that M 1924 this is the single pulse generator generator in the FATEC PLC and we will use this one move command here simply write mov move command after you can find the move instruction and I will move the 0 in this wm0 wm0 register and click it ok and which is the last bit we have to be uh, uh, defined that's for example M8, M10, M9 which for example M10 I want to be last bit on off so this I will make it link to this one and next I will this T0 of the contact of this, uh, this timer make it here T0 contact and we will choose one counter 
this is the counter you can see zero or any any counter you can choose this is the 16 bit counter and how much counts you need for example i will choose it the count for 15 or 10 any you can choose no problem make it okay and rest and for clear this counter you can use command for example m0 i will choose m0 and make it the clear to the counter and here we can choose m0 for example and output i will choose y0 but this for for to reset this counter this this input address you can't use for an open contact you have to be use close contact because when this one is open it should be running when close after this 10 signals counts completed after this will be make it reset to the counter so next we will choose m1 we have to be choose 8 to 10 how much any y0 and y1 this will be we choose and same next here for example m2 we will choose here we will choose m3 I will put first my all m4 m5 m6 m7 m m8 m9 and m10 so after this also we need y10 and y9 y8 y7 y6 y5 y4 y3 and y2 so why i use this all release because of when it's running in sequence after you can see easily in the sequence this bits will be moved to next so now almost our program is now done we will make it that simulation and make it on run plc and this is see you can see this is our bit moves to the next in sequence wise and as it's go to the next 10 because of we using m10 for this data register this one will be make it reset to our this counter and again it will be start from zero so this way we can use this command in the program for shifting to with any program for filling bottles or something anywhere you can use this in, in the where is the packing and filling programs when you're using this uh, command will be very helpful for this using very simple this t0 what i do this t0 giving the signal to the this timer and this timer after on off one single pulse giving when when you see in the uh, status uh, after I can show you because of in the physical there is a not showing because of for example here is T0 I will show you in status it will be show you 
this the time when it's completed his time after this is goes to reset complete time after goes to reset and after this is m1924 this is also cannot see m1924 this relay also you can see after on off on off with the with this data register and t0 and this counter c0 c0 also when his counting completed after it moves to the next relay in m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 you can easily easily understand this how i make this logic and how this is implemented and when you using in your program after you can use your own method this is very simple and very easy and i hope you understand about this command how we can use this command in attack plc if you not understand anything you can send me message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz